<laughs> Yo, uh, this life is strange, but I roll with the punches. I take in the chapter two. I well surrounded by sharks. I could have been fish food. The universe came through. I bust through the cracks of the span of form that's brand new. I'm shaking, not stirred. Wonder what Ooh. I can do. The thought never crossed my mind. Dodge your retrograde seasons walking the thin line. Man, this is Mr. Composition, the MC that writes fiction and. So where my home is, and the way you treat me makes me think that I'm home. What's up, guys? It's Kenya. Man, we are here to talk about recharge. Okay, we said what we were gonna do is basically let you know everything that we finished first in expansion, right? So last year, the last all of expansion, wrapping everything up, so many crazy things. I was just go back and forth fast as we can. So we played a show in Japan. Ooh, we man. did I Quit Best. Ooh. We which was, uh, that was after we got an idea from when we came up with Japan and we got back, we're like, let's do it. We did a group garden, okay, gardens. That kind of spawned something called Voter. We did Voter during PS. I've done like four raw events, uh, four or five during since expansion started. Like Man. Multiple performances. San Marcos, we got the mic turned off on us. Oh my God. Um, we got hit by the 18 we were trying in no, Los Angeles. Man. Oh my goodness. That was critical because that was also my actual vehicle at the time. That <laughs> was destroyed. And we still got to Japan with no car. Uh, what else happened? Man, uh, Creator so Awards. Creator Awards. in January. MC, my, my homegirl's wedding, Taz and May. Freaking Gemini Inc. Writers Conference. Gemini Inc. Writers Conference. That was super fun. Did a dope workshop with. Uh, that was a the Writers Conference. That Gemini Inc. is this huge writing organization. I got to moderate a panel that was put together by Frankie, and Kevin was on that panel along with. I was about to say, D.L. Hughley, <laughs> D.L. Grant, <laughs> the leader of the library. In Which town, we, did a workshop. Library. Uh, we did a there. workshop. We did a workshop there. I got to talk about Instagram to writers and really get my public speaking juices flowing. Got to go on time management. And, well. and it's so interesting how time has been such a relevant thing all the way up to oh, yeah. freaking Endgame. Oh, like, yeah. you know, like. Um, the Marvel Ooh, man. And then, okay, so we did that. We had HWC. We had Laminaria. Oh, my goodness. Um, that was huge. <laughs> the festival in San Antonio. Yeah. They paid Kevin a whole bunch of money ooh, that to was... do a performance there. And I got to be one of the performers on that set. Man. With Amina. Lots of other people. Too. Yes. Oh, my goodness. So it was super dope, super dope. Um, man, there's been, we really expanded. It was a lot. <laughs> By the we time drove we all the way around, we flew all the way around the world. Oh my we God. Did, we went up and all, up and down here in San Antonio, went up and down. I even got back to the Antelope Valley for part of it last year. And had to see everyone in the Antelope Valley come down. I mean, Mari and Devin. Uh, Devin sounds like a fake name. <laughs> now that I haven't been hanging out with him for a while, it just sounds like a fake name. Like, I feel like I'm just making up a white person named Devin. <laughs> but Devin, <laughs> Steve, is a real white person. Steve, uh, anyway, it was really cool. We got went up and down everywhere, literally saw everyone. I was doing my podcast a bunch of different places, GLK. Um, the height of the podcast was definitely the closure. If we talked about that already. Right? Anyway, we're tired, you guys. Yeah. Tired. Who? We barely like. By the time December Brain. came, I was like, not even Just there. Saying, <laughs> it's a conversation. Even the, and it's we, it's we're in August, so eight months have passed, uh, and it's still been just slowing down. It's been like re-entering gravity and just saying, whoa, we're like, like a lot of stuff happened on this whole re-entry into gravity. I got engaged. Congratulations. You know, I moved. Congratulations. Basically, the two biggest areas of life shifting right after this crazy 
thing of work, and so it's just been re-entering gravity, rediscovering, and now it's time. Uh, we've been we were talking about it for a long time in our last videos, but we we got to recharge back up. We got to back to one hundred. When we when we made the video starting expansion, and we announced we were going on tour. I don't think we had any idea that we would be here <laughs> two years later. For real, no. Uh, Everything so. completely changed yeah. because where we even filmed it, I was in a completely different location. I was, I was Not in the relationship of, you know. like at the yeah. time, you know. So it was just all it like his relationship out of energy out of the way. And now, actually, this is now like, I see my blow up. That's <laughs> gonna be Illuminati. And that's gonna be like, oh, he was talking about it back then. I knew it. <laughs> but it's it's interesting how what expansion does. Like this is we literally did not had no freaking idea. As a matter of fact, we're almost nearing like the anniversary of that first video. I don't know if you either look on my YouTube or your YouTube, whatever we posted that video. Um, that was super, that was super dope. So now we're in the recharge and so recharge, recharge has meant a lot of things to me, a bunch of different things, but mostly I think on the simplest way, it's how do we get back to where we can be comfortable yeah. and we destroyed our brains by having our craziest, most amazing work, hardcore carrying bags on our backs across with no anything. Japan Literally performances, backpack. missing buses. <laughs> it was the most beautiful thing ever, but it frayed us in a million different ways. Opened us up to new possibilities, like a crazy workout, the muscles are destroyed. So it's like, how do we heal from that? How do we get back to optimal working states where we're inspired 100% to create our next greatest work and do our reach our next greatest goal. And we just realized that in order to really recharge, get to a place where we can really get back to giving you, well, creating the stuff that we want to create, like from the state of mind of a child, we have to kind of go there yeah. and figure out what really pumps us up. And so the recharge is going to be all about the things that we want to do the most, the things that we're most interested in in the entire world. We're just going to make, make it basically our bucket list, and we're going to accomplish it at as many things as we can during the recharge. So let's just say, what are some things that we're going to go back and forth, see what we want to get done during the recharge? I know we talked about skateboarding. I, I want, we have to have concrete goals, right? So I want to kick flip off a curb. Oh, shit. That's my, <laughs> that's my skateboarding Goal. I think if I like just for fun, this is that's what the recharge is all about. Like do the things that you think would be the most fun, no fear, and just get back to that. Cause that's what we've been trying to do since teenagers, since since childhood. I remember when I busted my first kickflip. Oh, yeah. That was the coolest shit oh, in the fucking world. Yeah, yeah, it's like, super dope. It's just all it's like, like, whoa. I've been like, watching this, <laughs> I've been doing this at Tony Hawk. I've been seeing Tony Hawk do it. I am. How do, even because skateboarding is just crazy. The idea that you're gonna like something's on your feet already, it's yeah. never even touching your hands, and then you're gonna first of all jump in the air, <laughs> bring it with you through some sort of physics thing that still is mind boggling <laughs> to me, called an ollie, right. and then you're gonna then also use the dexterity of your foot limbies <laughs> to flick one end of the board so that it rotates perfectly in time and then put your feet on it when it's come back around and land on it and then continue rolling as though nothing happened. I e watch some Rodney Mullen videos. Yeah. Oh so my fucking gosh. Blow your mind. He's yeah, like yeah. my literally my favorite skater. Like yeah. um okay so skateboarding. Yeah skateboarding is on mine. I want to kick flip off a curb. Uh, do you have a skateboarding goal? <sighs> You don't have to go skateboarding or something. No, skateboarding is what I mean, a life skateboarding I want, is something that skateboarding. was definitely in, like, when I think about, like, 12, 13, 14, like, well, Will it really fulfill anything it, for you, or do you just not need to go back there? Uh, not there. For me, yeah. I think it would be something like fencing, something yeah. like getting into 
uh, like Tai Chi I'm gonna classes. Film him. <laughs> we're gonna do one fencing class. We're gonna film you. You're yes, doing the fencing. Yes. No, I had a friend who did fencing in high school. Fencing is my shit. Um, so yeah, that's my. I, what else do I want to do? What's something else that I really want to do? I feel like something golf related. Mm. Like I, I like golfing. I want to do. 18 holes. This is going to be one of my more simple ones. I want to do, I've never done a full 18. I know for some of you guys, it's like, whatever, we're doing all the time. I want to take my time and say, hey, heading out to the ring, I'm going to do, do an 18er. <laughs> I'm going to do an 18er. Okay, I want to do a full 18 holes. I, I like golf a lot. One thing me and my dad used to do, go to the driving range and then go to the putting thing for a little bit, but I never really did the whole thing. So I want, I want a set of clubs <laughs> and I want to do 18. Holes, okay. That's my. That's on my list too. I know we, we have. I have to get some crazy ones on here. So too. I definitely want to. As go, an artist, okay. No, no. Go ahead. Okay. So as an artist, I definitely need to go. And I love museums, but I've never been to the San Antonio Art Museum. So I definitely want to go there. That would be a really cool recharge, and just museums in general. I think like going to San Antonio Art Museum. Museum. That's a really good one. Mm -hmm. So that one's a lot to do too. It's just making time for that. Right down, right downtown. Free on one day a week. I don't know Tuesdays, Thursdays. I know Thursdays. Is the <sighs> See, this is how hard it is. It's like even to pick the stuff. The skateboarding was so easy to me. But um, what else would be really fun? Um, one thing we did talk about is making a movie about a movie. And that's gonna be fun for me because I like just film and goofing around and stuff like that. So. Um, You'll hear more about that project, but if you've been following anything else I do, look for the one project. One, it's just one. It's one. Go to Kenyo, go to my website, go to Instagram, go to Facebook, whatever. And anytime you see one, keep following that and you'll know what I'm talking about. But, um, what else is a um, recharge goal? So another recharge goal for I know him. I do have a goal. I feel like this is part of the recharge though, to plant a thousand trees with Garden of Good Gardens. That's like a really big... And that'll just like make me feel really cool. Like, okay, let's do something. I think another recharge goal for me. So, okay, so got the fencing, got the um, art museum. Um, I want to have an epic ass jam session. Like, I want to be able yeah, yeah. to like get like twelve different like. Me, you, yeah. vocab, MC Square, like a whole, just like a cool, like get somewhere where we got like a cool, like two to four hours of just like, like just being in the same vicinity as each other. Um, yeah, that'd be a cool one. That sounds amazing. Yes, I would love that too. Um, okay. So we're talking about as recharge going back to when we were kids. Thirteen. I'm trying to remember. Thirteen again for me was that was seventh, eighth grade. Thirteen was, is usually around eighth grade. And in eighth grade, I was in Juniper Elementary School. I started late with my homies. Um, <laughs> I met Steve first. Steve from Palmdale. Uh, I think we talked about or that. Or in the next so I don't know. Yeah. Ironically, we talked about them at the beginning. Yes, I talked about it before. Um, and yeah, yeah, I know one, a few things that were really big for me at that time were basketball, mm -hmm. even though it was on a very low key level. Yeah. Um, books. Books. That was probably like my height as far as like reading. That's where I, like, I read, as far as fiction, I sort of peaked out as from like 18th century, 17th century, 16th century. Literature. That's when I was really going ham in those yeah. categories. Um, <laughs> and it was like some good stuff because it was like hard word, like hard um, syntax and stuff like that. But it was so like you really probably satisfying. could like dive into like some straight up like British movies. You probably need to. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I like do. A bunch of those. Yeah, like yeah. I think that would probably be a dope recharge. I do the I new do. ones. <laughs> that would be a dope recharge. I think I want to do something related to basketball. I think I want to do. I want to play a basketball game. Like another, I did this, um, I might have to do this myself actually. 
Uh, I got to be in, there was uh, a, what is it, semi-pro basketball team yeah. in San Antonio, in New Braunfels, called the, uh, what was in San Antonio, really? What was it, Texas Red Wolves? Yeah, Texas Red Wolves. Mm. This is D, not D League, sorry. This is a, it's a whole different league. It's ABA basketball. But they did this, I knew one of the guys who like did like marketing for whatever for them, he worked with me in a different business. And so because of that, they did a celebrity basketball game and I got to be one of the, the players. Oh, and that was actually pretty fun. I <laughs> was really bad. And uh, I don't think I was ever that good at basketball, but it was like a pretty, it was a pretty big deal for me, like mentally. <laughs> you know what? Video games yeah. was low key like a big yeah. part of my eighth grade year. That's yeah, when me too. Um, San Andreas came out. Yeah. Um, that's when I got the Slim PS2. That's when I had Street Volume 3, son. Yeah. Motherfucker, Street Volume 3. Oh man, it's a dope ass fucking basketball game where it's like street ball, but it's got like the lead players in it and they do lock. Oh, it was so dope. Oh. I think a dope recharge for me yeah. would be to hold a really epic, I don't know, maybe like CBD and uh, like a, I love fighting games. So mm. like Mortal Kombat 11. Fighting or, tournament? Yeah, like have a. Okay, so that's on it. We gotta yeah. do a video game tournament and a basketball tournament. We can do those on the same day, so I'm not concerned. Right, right. really hard, but not everyone's going to do both. You can just find like a building next to a thing. So that's on the list. We got video game basketball. We're going to have to watch this back in order to remember what we said. Um, now, we got to remember mm-hmm. this month's almost over. So we got September, October, yeah. November. So this you, is the four, this is yeah. the, the four number. And four has been. A very high number that's been going on the last couple of years. So this is the power four months. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, it's gonna be really cool. And then I was gonna say I'm gonna throw in on my end. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna return a little bit. I'm gonna read some. Um, I I also really liked. Um, I'm adding this to my return list. I really liked. I like British literature, but I also liked young adult. And like, there's a lot of good young adults, so I want to read one young adult book, and I also want to read one really solid, um, so I'm 16, 17, 17th century. If you have any recommendations for either of those categories, hit me up. Um, I know enough people that I can You know, that's, this is, this, is the, yeah. this is the goal right here. You yeah. need to go on Facebook. Yeah, I'd be like, hey, anyone know any or Instagram? That no, works so hard. It does. That's I did that with anime and stuff like that every now and then. You get some good stuff. And I wasn't into anime in eighth grade actually, so that's not going to be part of my. I wasn't into Dragon Ball Z, but I'm fully caught up on that. If what could be like a game changing Dragon Ball Z experience? Well, the only thing I can think of is if like I somehow got to go to the studio where Dragon Ball Z was like made in Japan <laughs> or something like that. That or if I could go to so we went to Japan, we went to one Studio Ghibli store, highly disappointed. <laughs> Somewhat satisfying, but it was like going to like a, like a Disney gift shop, like yeah. if you like go to you know, the mall and you go to a Disney gift shop. Studio Ghibli is like their business, so I didn't realize that they were just having these very like commercial fronts. I'm not interested, I'm not trying to get, I'm maybe one day I will be actually like trying to buy the merch on that level, but then I'd still go online. But I just wanted to see some like weird, like a museum. So if I got to go to a studio to the museum, either anywhere. What if you can possibly get a podcast interview with one of the English actors, one of the voice actors? That would be kind of fun. You know who's been a voice actor for a studio Ghibli movie, English voice? Shia LaBeouf. Word. What if I get to interview Shia, Shia LaBeouf, LaBeouf and I, I get know. to ask him about Sue? Because no. he's also he's doing he's some a, stuff in LA right now for mental health and artists. Like, mm-hmm. and I just saw an article that's that true. Yeah, I've been watching some of his stuff. You it might be it might be a simple hookup. Just going down to that studio saying what's up. Shia. And I'm actually a, a fan of Shia LaBeouf's work. My right? my fanness of Shia LaBeouf is starting to get a little creepy. That's why I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> almost back up. So I'm like, I'm actually a little bit creepily a fan. Like, I've done a couple of things that are just too much. <laughs> one thing specifically, I've mailed him a painting yeah. for one of his birthdays. It's it's really bad. I sent it to one of his agents. 
in my mind, it was more of like the aesthetic of the moment. Like I was doing a lot of painting, and um, I just I'm a huge fan of Shia LaBeouf's acting work, and so vibe wise, it made sense to me. Yo, like, we need to get him on the phone. phone. We need to get him on the phone. And that's true. You that's need true. to find out either on Instagram. Or it's not going to be that hard. Be him and that. just be like, look, yeah. hey, I'm doing stuff with you know mental health, da, 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 or yeah. you know I'm. You know, whatever it is, as far as to yeah, where yeah. you know, let me get you on a podcast. Yeah, that simple way. It's true. That's true. I'm, I'm gonna get you on the podcast. You heard me here first. Right, that would be an epic reason. Yeah. Okay. So, 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 what do we have? So you yeah, have. Um, I think we should just watch it back. We'll make the list. If you guys want to see the recharge list, you're gonna have to follow us. The official. Show. Yes, follow us on social media individually, um, but you can also follow. Expansion tour on, on social media. I don't know. We'll have just follow us in general, right? Yeah. Right here on the list. Exactly. Yeah. Oh yeah, we'll just put it right on the video. <laughs> we'll just, yeah. Okay. I forgot. <laughs> this is not live. <laughs> but yeah, man. I'm like, okay. Yo, expansion recharge, man. This it's gonna be dope. So we're excited. You know. Um, we're gonna sign out. This is Miss Composition MC that writes fiction. Make sure that you go and you listen to my new album, Fertile. And in that album, as a bonus track, I have the single off of my self-produced album coming soon. Any day now. Uh, Digging in the Midnight Garden, No Moss is on there. You can listen to No Moss as a single on all mainstream platforms you can listen to fertile on all music streaming platforms and you can download by the album at mrcomposition.bandcamp.com check out all the goodies at mrcomposition.com check out dabcho.com book ideas of illusion fiction book takes place in the year 2025 is out now dabcho.com how about your boy boom um, that reminds me, this is Kenyo, um, there's only two things that I really want from you. One, go to Spotify, follow me, and then maybe go to iTunes, because I also have, I'm dropping like, basically a single a week, um, and some of those songs are going to end up being on the soundtrack for one, the rest of them are just going to be just, you know, I'm just giving them out to you. And what I'm going to do, this is my plan. And one is keep coming up here, hearing different ideas about it. That's my current like campaign. Go check it out. One, this is my plan. I'm gonna tell you. I'm, we're gonna be film, making the movie. One, I'm gonna keep making all these songs, mostly on my laptop, basically just like my own stuff, self-produced, putting them out there. And then as we're making the movie, um, I'm also gonna start doing like little performances of some of these songs. But the point I'm trying to get at is that. When the soundtrack gets finalized, I'm gonna take whatever tracks that I make that are gonna be on the album, I'm gonna redo those with the band. Mm -hmm. This is gonna be perfect because we're gonna be making the movie, I'm gonna be performing, plus we're gonna get that jam session oh, down. Man. So we're gonna be deep in the music scene. You're not gonna see me because I'm gonna be hitting, doing musical stuffs, and I'm gonna re put out those 12 songs for that custom soundtrack for one. Oh man, so it's gonna be dope. So definitely go follow me on, on Spotify um, and get those get that music. I'm trying to get my, my Spotify credos up. What? I want to be big and popping. And then actually just buy songs on iTunes because that will give me money faster. So I love the listens on Spotify, but if you could just go ahead and, and buy everything that I put out, my, buy my whole discography, cool. that would be gangster. Um, other than that, that's the only way you can support it. Me right now, other than when we start doing events and stuff like that, show up in numbers, buy tickets, and um, hit us up. Hit me up in email, Kenyo at Project TV. My website, www.kenyo.org. I would love to hear from you, comments, everything like that. You're the best. You guys are awesome. Boom. And See you, you can next time. actually help us get to our next place of expansion yes. by easily. Just adding us to your playlist rotation of any of your major and rotation, major yes. streaming platforms. That's true. That's
That's true. And do. you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna add this specific video that you're watching right here for free on whatever platform you're watching it on. You can also go to projectforward.tv and you can buy this video as a screener for three dollars, we'll say, and that'll go directly to um, this recharge and helping us film these videos as we do all this recharging nonsense. So if you want to be part of the recharge and, and own this video that you're watching, as well as you know, make it possible for us to do more, reach more of our goals, because we can add to this list. Yeah, we, we can. We can definitely add to the list because I also have some dreams. I want to go to the Bellagio, stay in the penthouse. I didn't tell you some of my recharge. I want to stay in the nicest hotel room. Oh, one of the things that I definitely want on it, I want to do an international first class flight. I want to fly overseas in first class. I just want to see what it's like. Mm. Okay? I want to do 11 hours in first class. Mm. Okay? I also want to hire a maid for the first time. That's, just like, <laughs> that's like a different goal. I don't know if that goes on the recharge. <laughs> We're, we're blurring <laughs> into other territories here, guys. So That's like know, a major life goal. This is Mr. Me. Composition, the MC that writes fiction. Peace. Oh, shit. <laughs>